It makes sense that as a site owner, you'll want a website contact form so people can contact you quickly, but it's hard to decide the best way to do this without confusing you or your visitors. In this video, I'll show you how to create a contact form in WordPress easily step-by-step -step using WP Forms and how to place this inside a new or existing page. At the end of the video, I will also show you how to import your new contact form into a seed prod landing page in seconds. Seedprod is the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. Seedprod has a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we want to do is open your dashboard in WordPress and come over to wpforms.com or click the link in the description. In this video, we're going to be using the pro version of WP Forms. So come over and click the orange button here to get a pro license. After you've created an account, let's click on login and enter your email address and password, and then click login. Inside the WP Forms dashboard, let's click on Downloads, and let's click on Download WP Forms. We'll also need the license key here in the bottom left, so you can click the icon here to copy that. We're finished with this window, so we can close this. And let's head over to Plugins and Add New. Next, let's go to Upload Plugin, and let's drag and drop that zip file right here. You can also select that from your file system. Let's click Install Now, and click Activate Plugin. If you're using the same browser as I am, you can close this tab at the bottom, and here you'll see a WP Forms welcome screen. On the left-hand side in the menu, you'll see WP Forms now. Let's go to the settings page, and right here you'll paste your license key and click verify key. You should see a success message. Click OK. To create a new form, on the left-hand side, we click on Add New. And here you're presented with the setup screen for WP Forms. We're going to give the form a name. I'm going to keep mine simple and just say contact. You can name yours whatever you wish. And I'm going to click on simple contact form to get a little bit of a head start. You can see that it gave us a template here to work with. So we have the name first, last, we have the email field, and we have a comment or message field and the submit button. On the left hand side, you'll see the tabs here for setup, fields, settings, marketing, and payments. Setup is the page that we already went through. And right now we're on the fields. So here's where we can actually design the form itself. So on the left hand side, we have fields that we can add. So we can just drag one over and into our form. We can delete this to remove it and click OK. So we have all of these standard fields, checkboxes, numbers, email, number slider. We have fancy fields, so addresses, file uploads, HTML, ratings. You can also install a couple extra ones here as well, such as signatures. And at the bottom we have payment fields, so single item, multiple item, drop down, checkbox, and total. So all of these are located under the add fields tab up top. We also have the field options, so if I click on one of these sections, you can see that the options change for that section. So this is the name block. If I click on the email, you'll see that these will update to be the options for the email field. And same for the comment. On the left hand side here, we can go to settings and we have general notifications, confirmations. The general settings, we have our contact name. We can give it a description. We can add our own form CSS classes. We can change the submit button text. So I'm gonna change mine to send. The processing text, so sending. When you click it, it'll show sending. The submit button CSS class, if you wanna add your own design. Right now we have enabled anti-spam protection. We can also do enable dynamic fields population, enable Ajax form submission. I'm going to enable this. This will prevent the page from reloading. So when they submit the form, they'll stay on the same page and see a success message. And disable storing entry information in WordPress. Next, we have notifications. This is to notify you or the business owner. And here we have smart tags. So this will be replaced with your email that you set up in WordPress. So this will just send you a notification email with all the details about the contact form and what the person submitted to you. Under confirmations, this is a message that the person will see after they submit the form. So you could show a message, you can show them a page, and you can pick which page. If you're using Seapride, you can create your own custom thank you page, and then you could actually send those people to the thank you page right here. This is how you would set that up. For now, I'm just going to select message, and then you could customize the message that is shown. Let's click save to save our settings. And on the left-hand side, let's check out the marketing section. You could hook up your forms to Constant Contact or one of your favorite third-party email marketing services. We also have the option of payments, PayPal standard, Stripe, and Authorize.net. If we come back to fields, here we can now customize our form if we wish a little bit more. So if you want, you could add, for example, a multiple choice question and click on this. You could ask a specific question. How did you hear about us? And then your choices. Now we can select if this is required or not. You can see the red asterisk right here indicating that it is required. I'm going to say no, not for this question. You can minimize this and look at the advanced options. You can randomize the choices. So every time the page loads, these will be in a different order if that matters for you. Choose a layout, hide the label, add your own CSS classes, and dynamic choices. WP Forms also offers conditionals, so you can do some fancy things. So if somebody fills out a specific form or a certain field that has an answer, you can show or hide different parts of the form based on the answer. It's quite advanced. I'm not going to go over this in this video. If we click on the name field here, 
we can see that we can change the label if we wish the format so if we just want it simple or if we want a middle name first middle last you have different options here a description if it's required we also have the advanced options so the field size we can make it large or small i'm going to leave it at medium you can change the placeholder so this is the text that is shown right in here so technically you could put first and then on this one last but now you have it twice here so this is the label and then this is the sub label so you could hide the label but you could also hide the sub label so now you have the placeholder there instead of using the label itself and then you could do that for each one so for example email we could close this and go to advanced options and put in a placeholder text so name at example.com and there we go it's a pretty simple form but I, I like it and i think that's good enough for now so i'm going to go ahead and save this and then we can click embed and now you have two options you can select an existing page but i don't have any pages created i have the sample page that comes with the default wordpress installation or you could create a new page you can also embed your form manually or use a short code so i'm going to go ahead and say create new page and give it a name so let's just call this contact and say let's go and here i'm just using the default theme that comes with wordpress and you can see the form is already input here if i hit the plus sign here you could add your own text or your images or whatever you wish and we could use the arrow here to bump our message up on top you could add whatever you wish to this page and now let's click publish and publish again now we can visit the page and here's our website page that we created it's just a simple one so this is just the default theme like i mentioned we have a little message we added and then the form that you could fill out i'll just fill this out quickly and now when we hit send you'll see a little sending message and then we'll see the little automatic message here now you might have noticed that the page didn't reload this used ajax to send the request if we come back to the dashboard and come under wp forms and entries we can now see that we have one single entry and we'll see a listing of it down here and this is called contact if i click on here you can see the information if i click view then you can see all of the details in my opinion this page looks pretty boring doesn't look too good so let's go ahead and create a new landing page in seed prod let's go to plugins and say add new and we'll call this seed prod and the number one result we'll say install now and we'll click on activate in this video we'll be using the free version or the light version of seed prod i highly recommend that you check out the pro version as it is extremely advanced for creating amazing landing pages of all types so now that it's installed we can click on create your first page or pages on the left hand side here now there are different modes here so coming soon mode maintenance mode login and 404 and you can completely customize these pages in this video we're just creating a simple landing page and i just want to show you how easy it is to import an, a wp forms contact form or any type of form into a seed prod page they work great together so seed prod is going to ask you to choose a new page template so you can create a blank template or you can select one of the pre-made ones that are professionally designed you can also unlock 10 extra free templates here by adding your email to the email list and they'll unlock these ones right here and then there's a bunch of pro ones that you can unlock by getting the pro version of seed prod i'm going to go ahead and click the rocket coming soon page and just click the little check mark here and give it a name so this isn't going to be a contact page but i'll show you that we can still import a form we're going to say save and start editing the page and i'm going to get rid of this section and on the left hand side we have our blocks this is similar to wp forms where you have fields or blocks on the left hand side and you can drag them onto the page and it's such an easy way to create your own custom pages i'm going to come down to contact form and drop this form right in here and you can see wp forms if i click the options here we already have it installed and we already have a contact form created i can also drop down right here in seed prods page builder click the contact form the one that we want and now we can see that immediately i can just update the text and it'll change the heading here you can also change the font size easily or the alignment if you need to you can update the image quickly and you're only limited by your imagination with these pages you have lots of different blocks here and if you unlock the pro version you have a ton of great features i'm going to go ahead and save this page now let's go ahead and preview this and there you go in seconds we imported the wp forms contact form that we created we have a custom landing page it's a coming soon page but we could turn this into any type of landing page so now again i'll just fill out and show that the form actually works inside of seed prod and again we'll click on send you'll see the sending message and then the custom message that we set up in the WP form settings. If we close the C prod page builder and come back to WP forms and entries, we'll now see that we have two entries here. If we click on the form name, we'll have John Doe. That's the one that I just submitted. And then the first one that we submitted earlier. Now that you have a good understanding of contact forms, it would be a great time to learn how to create your own landing pages with opt-in forms to collect emails and grow your list. Check out this video on how to make a sales page in WordPress. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.